Hello, this is Jonathan Makara for Fluent C++. Let's continue learning what's in the Boost library. Today we see Boost Karma. So Boost Karma is a very, very elaborate way to build strings in C++. It revolves around two concepts, generators and generating functions. But let's see how that looks like in code. To use boost comma, you can just include this path. Boost is part of a larger library that's called boost spirit. We may have a chance to get into that later. This is a generating function and this is a generator. Karma uses those generating functions that take an input and that have an output here and the generator that reads the input does something with it and puts the result into the output which is there a string int and score is perhaps the simplest generator it just takes the input reads it as an int so let's just run that code and it prints 42 that was an introductory example let's see a more complex one in this code, we include the same header containing the code of karma. And our input here is a collection. It's a collection of numbers. Now our generator is slightly more complicated than just reading an int. So this is how it reads. It reads an int and this thing in this context means and then, meaning read an int and then and then there's this thing. This star is a bit like in the regular expressions. It means do it as many times as possible. And do what? Do what follows. And what follows is this group between parents. It starts with write a comma followed by a space. And then read an int. So overall, it's going to read an int and then read as many ints as possible, as many ints are there left in the collection, and write a comma before everyone. Let's, let's run that code. So it prints out the collection separated by comma and spaces. So it reads an int, this is the first int in the collection, and then it repeats as many times as possible, print, comma, followed by space, then read an end, then comma, follow my space, then read an end, and that's it. Last example, that's even more complex than that. Just for the sake of showing that you can do arbitrarily complex expressions with boost karma, let's get into that one. So this one takes in this input. So this input comes from this variable C, which is a complex number. A complex number has a real part and an imaginary part. In this generation, we take three values, the imaginary part, and then the read part, and then the imaginary part again. Why do we do that? Let's have a look at the generator, which is spread over three lines here. The generator starts with this. This is sort of like a Boolean expression, meaning if this is not a double that's equal to zero, then you write a parent and then you take the next number in the form of a double and then you write a comma and then the next number in the form of a double and then a parent. What does it look like here? In our input, we're going to check if the imaginary part is null and if it's not null, which means that it's a sort of like real complex number, we're going to print it out with the real number here and then the imaginary number there between parents. Let's just run this code. Our complex number has three and minus one in real and imaginary part, and they're going to be printed out between parents and as doubles. Now, what if this condition is not true, which means that this subcondition is true, which means that the first double, which is the imaginary part, is null. In other term, I could rewrite my example by 
putting this to zero. So this is essentially a real number, right? In this case, we're going to fall back into this, which means else. I know it doesn't really look like else, but it's what that means in, in karma. So if this is not true, then we're going to fall back into this part of the generator. This part means omit the first double, as in like ignore it, so it's going to ignore this input, and then write out the following value as a double, which is the real value. So if I run that code with three and zero in the complex number, we get just three, and we don't get the parents and the coma here because we fell back into this part of the generator. I know how complex that looks, and to be honest, I haven't used it in real code yet, but I think it's interesting to at least know what's in there, if anything, for our culture, and to get inspiration to create our own libraries. So this is the kind of thing you can do with Boost Karma, there are other generators we haven't seen. If you're interested to see them all, you can go look at the documentation, which is quite clear, actually. I hope this has been interesting to you and will continue to learn Boost in other videos. If you like this video and want more like this one, you can subscribe to the channel. And if you liked it, put a thumb up. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.